Good morning, it's Di and welcome back to my channel and hello and thank you to 104 subscribers, oh my goodness, <laughs> having so much fun. Anyway, today is a continuation on my Sew for the Soul, uh, my slow stitching and Anne Brooks has done uh, something in a tin, a little booklet in a tin. Now you might remember we did the, I did a, I did a, I did a beautiful long snippet roll and I put it on a, um, a cotton reel and, and that was so much fun. And I can continue working on that, but I thought I'd like to try the something in a tin, a little booklet. So this is three, I found this old tin, um, it was an old tobacco tin, and it's really, really rusted. But I can line that so that whatever I put in there, oh, it's just so vintagey, and, and I love it. And that's, that's a magnet I bought from a long time ago, and it just fits there perfectly. You don't need to decorate, do I? There was that option. Or there was a, a men's, I don't know what came in it, some present for it, it said man's gift. It was a three by three lidded box, so I could do it three by three. But I went to, because uh, the fabric is so expensive. Now you might remember I had so much fun with this one. And that was, I just love it. And that was all the, um, what I had at the time. But since then, I've been going around to some op shops and stuff and looking at ways to get other materials, which are a bit cheaper, so that so that's what I've done. And I found some old lace tablecloths, which is lovely. And, and the lace, the lace on this is all torn in places. But it's absolutely divine. So I've washed and washed it all, and I found uh, pillowcases. Now, this is a beautiful mulberry, mulberry purple, pure cotton, and I thought, oh, I can make some lovely Suffolk puffs out of that, and that will be a good colourway. And I also found some pillowcases in a grey with a pretty little pattern on it in white, which I thought was really sweet. And also a pillowcase in gray, almost the same gray, isn't it? Beautiful, with the dots on it. So I've kind of got my, got my colorway there, combining it with the lace. Um, I can get started on something. So I don't know whether I can work so small, but anyway, let's uh, do something. I found some wadding that I must have cut out with something in mind because I've, I've stitched it down the middle. I've got two pieces there and I've stitched it down the middle. Now they are four by, four by eight. So I could trim those down to, let's say, four by, we don't need to trim that, I need to cut it in half and cut some off that and they're already stitched down the middle so that'll come in handy, that's my booklet and then we're ready to go. So I'll just pop all that over to the side. That's a nice, that's a nice book. I've been working on, um, I've got 14 junk journals ready to, ready to be sold. So I've been finishing, finishing those off and working really hard. Now I think if I just eyeball this, maybe bring the tin back in. I don't, the only reason I'm in two minds about the tin is it is really small. I mean the real estate in there and it's not very deep, it's about, um, I'll measure it in centimetres, what am, I, what am I saying? Probably about one and a bit centimetres. Don't you like the bit? I'm <laughs> one and a bit. 
Oh lordy. Yes, um obviously <laughs> so one <laughs> just over one centimeter. That yeah, that'll that'll work. That'll be one, two, three, a four little page booklet. By George, I think we can do it. Let's let's do it. Let's be let's be adventurous, shall we? It's nice and quiet here in the morning and it's going to be another scorcher of a day. We had 39 degrees Celsius here the other day. And I thought, it's not even officially summer yet. Oh, Lord. So I'm just going to eyeball that. I'm going to cut through all layers. What could go wrong, right? I mean, the idea is rustic, remember? <laughs> Keep that in mind. Hopefully, this is this is only a wonderful project to keep me sane. Okay, that could have been a little bit longer. Well, there's nothing to say we can't have a top opening. Can't. Well, it could fit in sideways, couldn't it? Hello. Of course, it could. That's, that fits in perfectly. It's like a little bed. That's gorgeous. All right, so all I need to do is snip a little bit off the edges here. Well, in fitting with the, in fitting with the tin, I think this should be lacy and antique and delicious. What do you think? That's what I think. I hope everybody's, oh no, that fits in beautifully. Okay, we have our container sorted. We have our, I'll have to, I'll have to clean, no, it's not, it's not dirty, it's just a bit rusty. So I'll need to find something to line that with anyway. Right, so we have our little book. Now to start. Right, okay, I guess we get a little piece of, a little bit of everything. I was watching, I was watching Anne the other day and all the ladies that have submitted uh, things all around the world and oh my goodness they are so inspiring and I'm like oh wow that is incredible but, um, it's all about the journey isn't it it's all about just doing giving yourself permission to not be perfect no such thing as perfect. No such thing. Only in nature, I think. Uh, I think uh, nature got it right. Yeah. So another. Th I think the. I think the weather channel said thirty-three degrees Celsius here today, which is hot enough. I gotta say, hot enough. It's better than thirty-nine. I'll take that. I think they're um, predicting for those people overseas who might be watching and for the sake of me just nattering on. In the centre of Australia, they've predicted in the high 40 degrees, maybe even 50 degrees Celsius. So this coming weekend, which I guess is tomorrow. So that's not good, is it? The earth is getting hotter. But we're here, I'm here today to just have fun. Not think about what's happening. I need a break from all the worry. Yeah, so I've been busy journaling. I don't know what all you guys have been up to. Probably sewing. got some calming meditation music on in the background I've lit a lit a candle I'm debating whether to um put the tree up I 
I love my Christmas tree. It's a lot of work. I think we're going to be alone again this year. Family's getting smaller and smaller. Love and fierce. That's what I say. Okay, so that is some of that. I think I'll have a little bit of this one. I always love a torn edge. And frayed. I wonder. I mean, I don't know how, how the, what the longevity is. Stitching down and through through you know edges that might come up come apart. I'm not sure. But there's a lot of my work. I mean, I do so much in paper, and paper does not have a long lifespan. There's something, something lovely about that, something to be treasured. All the pages of the books. And I, I know I do altered books, but I only alter ones that are falling apart already. Make them beautiful again. Honour them. Give them a new life. I thought, um, I just wish, I wish I'd had some of my mother's uh, handiwork and my grandmother's, wouldn't that be special? If only we knew, we could have all been, we could have each done a page over time. I said to my sister, if I send you a piece of wadding, um, she said, but I can't sew. I said, well, please just make a mark with, with a needle and thread. And I, I'd love to have that. That would be so special. No pun intended. So special. Okay. Okay. So we've got, this is taking up a bit of time, isn't it? But I promised, I promised that we would do some slow stitching. And by goodness, we are. You know what? That would be, wouldn't that be just beautiful wrapped in that? Oh. That, that is so amazing. Hmm. Okay. So I have purple and I have some spots. And now I just want this other one. It's sort of like a, I don't know what you'd call that pattern. Looks almost Star Warsy or something. The cotton is so soft and old. I thought pillowcases is a great idea and sheets and things that have been washed and washed and washed over and over again. You just can't beat that, can you? I mean, oh, I love the new fabrics. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I went to Spotlight the other day and... Some of them, I could spend a fortune in there. But, um, I mean, yeah, if they're really delicious, I think the, the minimum that you can buy is zero point something of a metre. So even if it's $30, $30 a metre, I, I get it, I get the minimum. <laughs> well, especially when you're working in something as small as this. love pulling threads. Oh, it's so something so satisfying about that. Just 
So lovely, yummy, yummy, yummy. And now it's too big. Now Anne did some circles and um, I'm sort of, I don't have a, a punch or anything, so I'm gonna have to trace something and yeah. Circles are so hard. Okay, now, oh, I know what I do have. I've got this beautiful seam binding that I've been using in, on my tags and my junk journals. Look at that colorway. That is delicious. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I've got a little bit of this gorgeous ribbon. where I got that from but oh that is delicious okay so we'll get a couple of lengths of that that is really yummy and I've got some sari silk here too gorgeous colorway oh yummy this is gonna be fun Right. Actually, I bought this. I think these were beautiful. You put them on the sandwich tray in the olden days. Because I'm so young. <laughs> I remember. Look at that beautiful needlework. It is as neat on the back as it is on the on the front. That is amazing. And wouldn't that be beautiful to just wrap the whole thing in when it's done? Oh, yes. I could make a little pouch for it. Oh, so exciting. Okay, so now all I need is... Oh, I found some glittery fabric from, from my last snippets. And some roses. Okay, well, this is going going another way, isn't it? The same as <laughs> the same as last time. Oh yes. See, the in in journaling or in mixed media art, um, you know, someone once said, one of my tutors said, when you're choosing images, choose what you love. Just go through books or papers or whatever and let your, don't, don't think, don't really think. I think it's, oh, I don't know, it's a right brain or a left brain thing, I'm not sure. But when you're creative, sometimes things come together and you're like, wow, isn't that incredible? And um, yes, yeah, so if you choose what you love, everything will match because it's all what you love you only buy things that you like well you should only buy things that you like and that's a reflection of you and that's what it's all about isn't it now where is my you beaut this is my isn't that the fanciest pin cushion you've ever seen in your life <laughs> I watched I watched a uh, tutorial on how to make uh, your own pin cushion and they said just get a teacup which I did I've got a gorgeous teacup and saucer and just got some wadding and some calico bound it all together in the right sort of shape so that I could squish it down just used a rubber band to secure it all. Just tied it up like a balloon, basically. And I thought, instead of super gluing it in or doing anything silly, because I just adore this cup and saucer, um, I just used double-sided tape. So I just used double-sided tape deep in the cup. And that's what it's just sitting in there being held by. And then the idea... Um, was to put something in the middle like a button 
I found these cogs and that's where I put my needles so that I can find my needles, the rest of the pins. And um, I've just blinged it up, you know, like, well, what would you expect from, <laughs> from a blingy kind of a girl? That's just, that's just a, an old, a, one of those cheapy necklaces and it's just pinned in there. But it look, doesn't it look gorgeous? It just makes me so happy every time I see it. And um, I think, oh, wow, you know, I just love it. I sewed some little, some little uh, roses on there and all the pins. And actually, that is a child. My first brooch I had as a baby, my daddy bought it for me. My daddy. My dad. <laughs> and it's a, it's a beetle. And he's really the worst for wear. But isn't that the prettiest glass beetle you've ever seen? And doesn't he look gorgeous? Oops, doesn't he look gorgeous in amongst the. And instead of hidden in a drawer, I get to see him every day. Brings back so many happy memories. I love it. Anyway, let's just sit that there and find some, find a needle in all this mess. Maybe one that's threaded if I'm really lucky. Yeah, oh, that'd be right. I need a little tail. Now I have to try and find my... Well, still, if I do little stitches, I... No, I can't work with that. There's another one. How long have we got on that one? Oh, that's a bit better. I'm shocking it. Oh, look, we'd be here all day. Right. Now. It is so tiny. So tiny. It's beautiful. Might open it out. Open it out flat. Can you see that? What to do first? Layer it up. I like that. Not sure. Keeping in mind that this will be the first page. Maybe some seam binding down the edge. Some seam binding down the edge. Hmm. I think it's too much, too much purple. Well, why don't I just tack this in place? I feel like I should have a cup of tea. something so relaxing and when you see this video and you comment and if you're seeing it for the first time please hit that subscribe button but more importantly, I would love for you to share a photo of what it is that you're doing. I get so much inspo, I don't know about you, and I'm sure you're the same, which is why you're probably watching this, is that you just love to share and get inspiration from others. so freeing isn't it to not have to do anything perfectly I mean if you if you can't or you don't want to the thing is just doing it making a start getting in the zone there's a 
is all just for, for my benefit. Do you want to waffle on? I just love, I just love sharing and, and thank you so much for all those amazing comments that people leave and it just, it just makes me so heartened and I'll cry. There are so many wonderful good people out there so easy to fall into the trap of thinking everybody is mean and the world is bad and you know I don't try and watch the telly human nature is amazing and people are amazing and there's far more good in the world than there is bad and it must always stay that way family is so disconnected you know you can I feel so alone sometimes but then you can you can be in a room full of people and feel alone and I'm so blessed I've got my wonderful husband my wonderful son wonderful friends around me, extended family and all of you all my YouTube friends, I subscribe to hundreds of people and oh my goodness so many great things, I could be on YouTube all day, well come on let's face it, I am on YouTube all day There, I've made a start, I've tacked something down. That's huge. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I should have I should have recited some poetry or something, I suppose. No, that's silly. Okay, now what next? I'm yearning for colour. I need colour pretty colour. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I just do the whole lot in colour. Oh, I need something. Maybe I need to snip off. If it's, this is just the same as, as the work I do uh, <laughs> with paper. Whatever you like if you choose your material or you choose your paper, I don't know I don't know how you guys find it, but if I choose it and put it out there and it's in front of me, I it sparks my imagination and I use it. I mean obviously I forget what I've got to, all the treasures that might be hidden. So yeah, I like to I like to go through everything before I start a project. Oh, now look at that! Isn't that isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty. Now, how do I how do I want it? Do I want it here? Hmm. Where's those other little pieces? I think I, I think I want it. I think I want it, but just, just off it a little bit, maybe up a bit. Almost looks like a postage stamp, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe I could layer it and then put it down. Where's that little bit of lace?
sometimes you can overthink it. Hmm, I like it. I might tack that down. I can always untack it. Actually, if I move it to this end, that a lot better yes 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 right that way I won't even have to end that cotton I can just come straight back up in there tack that down I can always come in later there's so many stitches to be done isn't there now if I come across here like so I must um, practice Anne's bullion stitches. Right, there's so much to learn. There's so little time. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. to go and meet the mail meet the mail I have to go down and mail um, I'm sending a journal to this lovely lady she I was in shopping in Yamba we live uh, I live in the Northern Rivers in Australia in New South Wales not far from Yamba and it's a beautiful coastal little town and there's a little antique shop there called Flots and Jets and it's really fun to go in there. She's got such an eclectic mix of old and new. It was in there and she had these huge tubs of things. She had um, tubs of stamps and tubs of coins and I mean I'm talking big 44 gallon tubs. Um, Anyway, I was going through things and she had a great big dish of chess pieces. And I said to her, there was no price anywhere. And I said to her, oh, how much um, for some chess pieces? I'd like to buy some. And she said, oh, you can have them. Go through them. She said, you can have whatever you like. She said, I've been collecting them here and there. There's no, they're all mismatched. And um, I said to her, "No, no, let me let me pay you something." No, she said, "Truly, pick out what pick out what you'd like." She said, "What have you got in mind to do with them?" And I said, "Well, I um, love mixed media work." Um, and I said, I'm, "I don't know, but I I'll do something." And she said, "Oh, well, have you got a social media account?" And I said, "Yes." So she wrote her name on the back of her card and gave it to me. Just simple little things of kindness like that. I mean, she didn't have to do anything. She didn't have to give me a thing. And I've remembered that. This is going back oh, probably about a month ago now. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to write her a letter and I'm thank her and I'm going to give her one of my journals. Um, because, you know, just to express how lovely it was how kind it may not mean anything to a lot of people but I just thought oh it made my day anyway and being a small business too and probably closing and being an antique shop anyway I was blown away by it so I've got to go to the post this morning and post um, post it off so if you'd like to go onto Instagram and have a look for flots and jets in Yamba, um, she does have an Instagram page. And if you're ever in Yamba, pop in and say g'day. So sweet.
So I don't know what I'm going to do with those beautiful. I picked I picked all the all the nicest, of course, all the nicest little chess pieces. I've got the king and the queen. I've got a bishop, a rook, and a knight, all in the beautiful wood. Um, and I've got some little pawns, I think, in a beautiful little oak oak wood. They would have been probably top quality back in the day. I used to play chess and love it. It's one of those things that I'd like to do again. Okay, so that's what I've done so far in my slow stitch. I'll probably add this. I think we should come back. I think we should come back and, and have another play tomorrow and and um, just see see what you think if you like these videos please give a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with others as I've reached 106 subbies maybe I should have a giveaway I think I should I like being generous um, I think a journal might be in order so yeah definitely we'll do that I'll probably announce it in the next video when I figure out how to do I'm still learning <laughs> so much to learn so little time well I'm sorry for my rants and rambling I hope it hasn't been too boring I don't know whether I'll watch it back I'll be too embarrassed anyway gee I love that I'm, I feel better now I've done something so calming and I'll I won't continue off camera I don't think I think that's something we'll do together well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. And I look forward to meeting you again in the studio. Well, actually, this time I'm on my dining room table because I can spread out more. But let's face it, I have the whole house. I have the garage for my furniture painting. I have my studio. And now I have the kitchen table. So pretty much <laughs> I have the whole house. Anyway, it's good to laugh. <laughs> I don't think my husband will be laughing. So, no, he's pretty good. It's only the two of us. Okay, so goodbye. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave you now. I'll stop talking. And I'll see you next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. See ya.